Hey guys, it's Ron the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 302 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you already tried it, let's just dive right in. An insurance company sells automobile liability and collision insurance. Let X denote let X denote liability and Y denote collision. Blah 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 blah. X and Y have a joint cumulative distribution of this below. Notice they say joint cumulative distribution. So like normally in these kind of problems they'll give you the probability distribution, but in this um particular problem they gave you the joint cumulative. Well if you really know what the joint cumulative distribution tells you, you don't really have to go back, you don't have to take the derivative to find the probability dis um distribution function. So yeah. Um so it says calculate the probability that at least eighty percent of um liability policies and so this is the probability we're trying to find and 80 percent of collision um, probability oh collision policies will be renewed at the end of their turn so that's what they're what we're looking for so if you were to visualize this this is the limit 100 100 given this is x this is y and this is 80 and this is 80 so we're looking for when it's both when both liability policies and collision policies renewed. So it's this little square right here. This, you know, ooh, sorry about that. Since 100 the limit, ooh, this is kind of silly. So that's the area that we're looking for, this black box. I mean, I think it's easier if you find the complement first. So the complement will be 1 minus the probability of, here, oh, actually, 1 minus the probability of x is less than 80. Or y is um, less than 80, right? Or this is also equal to the cumulative, the cumulative distribution function of, let's say, here actually, this is very very similar to question 304. So if you want extra practice, definitely go check that out. So this is going from 80 to 100. So that means this area, 1 minus 80 to 100, 80x to 100y. So 1 minus this area, right? Minus the um, minus this area right here. So that's 100 to 80. But notice how we color this box twice, right? This box has both purple and pink. So then we would have to add that part back in. Plus, um, so this is all, okay, plus f of 80, 80. So then that should hypothetically give you the area we're looking for, right, this part? Because all probability distribution has to add up to 1, so this whole thing has to add up to 1. So 1 minus the purple minus the pink, but adding back that 80, 80 cumulative distribution function okay well now you, we know what to plug in for x and y right so all you have to do is just plug everything back in so that's going to be equal to 1 minus 80 100 times 180 over blah 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 okay actually i think i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm, a, I'm gonna factor out the 2000 out or yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I said, you know what I mean. And just deal with numerators. So that's going to be equal to 80 times 100 times 80 plus 100, which is 180, minus, same thing. So this is 8,180, right? Yeah. Plus... 80 times 80, that's 6400, zero, zero. and 80 plus 80 is 160, oh no, no, I'm just messing with you guys, This I'm going to take out the positive number and this is going to be a negative, okay, so this is equal to 1 minus 1856000 zero, 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 divided by 2000000, zero, 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 zero. so these cancel out, and we can just say it's equal to 1856 divided by 2000, which is equal to 1 minus 
nine two eight, which is equal to point oh seven two, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.